Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So this week is Primark week. I have decided to dedicate all three of my uploads to Primark. So today's video, we're going to be testing Primark 60p single eyeshadows. I believe this is a new release from Primark because the last time I was there, I did not see this. So basically what they are, are single eyeshadows. They decided to call it Customize, which I think is really cute. They have also custom palettes for you to put it in. And I decided to pick up the nine shade palette, but they do have a four shade palette if you're interested in a smaller size they do also have different colors as well like not tons and tons of colors like I wouldn't say there's a hundred different eyeshadows to choose from but there's definitely like 40 maybe 35 different shades to choose from so I did pick up the nine pan custom eyeshadow palette for three pounds which is an absolute bargain for a custom eyeshadow palette however it's not a mag magnetic palette it's one of the ones where you slot it into um, the actual spaces and I don't know what other eyeshadow pans this would fit or if it's just made for Primark Which most likely it probably is because it looks a little bit smaller than a Mac pan But I might give it a go actually because I do have a couple single Mac eyeshadows um, I also have makeup geek so I will try put a couple in there But let's put my Primark eyeshadows in there first. I believe the four pan eyeshadow um, palette is two pounds. Okay guys and I'm back so I have made my palette and oh my god how stunning is that. I have three transition colours, three metallic colours and then three deeper darker colours. I did not plan this, I just picked up colours that I liked. But how stunning is this palette? It actually looks really really expensive and like like I paid a lot of money for it. It does not look like I paid five pounds something for all of it because if you add it up, let me add it all up actually. Okay so just for the single eyeshadows I paid five pound forty for all of them all nine of them and then for the custom palette of course three pounds so all together this palette cost me eight pound forty which is an absolute bargain for what it actually is i hope they are good quality because so far i'm impressed so i'm gonna go through each and every shade give you swatches then we'll move on to apply it on the eyes but before we jump into that i just wanted to let you know this video is a collaboration with my best friend kami mua um i don't know if you guys would have seen him on my snapchat or my instagram we're always together and we were together when we bought all this stuff from primark so we thought it would be nice to kind of just make this a collab video he bought some colors um, from the 60p collection and he does have some different colors than me some different colors because we do kind of have similar tastes but we are different like he did pick different shades if you would like to check out his video make sure you check the link in the description box I will link it down below okay guys so here we have swatches of the first two rows these are the top transition colors and then these are the three metallic shades these are all one swipe as you can see the pigmentation is definitely there with the shimmers the brown swatch beautifully as well it looks very nice and pigmented and um, these two colors were a little bit powdery and a little bit kind of chalky I don't know if you can tell from the swatches but I have a feeling on the eyes they will perform as a transition color so overall I'm really happy with how they've swatched let's move on to the next row okay so here we have the three deeper darker shades this khaki color is so unique and gorgeous I haven't got a color like this in my collection as far as I know so I'm so glad I picked that up the middle deep dark brown is gorgeous it's almost Almost a black but as you can see that is a black and it is really really black they swatch pretty good like I said they are a little bit kind of powdery but I believe on the eyes they will perform beautifully so I'm really happy with how they've swatched so far so let's go ahead and get them on the eyes okay guys so I'm gonna try a MAC eyeshadow and I'm gonna try put it into here and see if it fits this is the shade shady lady so as you can see the MAC eyeshadows actually fit in this pan which is really really good however I don't know if you can see from the side that a little bit of the pan is kind of poking out of the front but it still closes magnetically so I mean they do fit they don't fall out but I think you can see from that angle the MAC pan is kind of poking out compared to the rest but the actual circle does fit in the pan so if you do have MAC eyeshadows and you want to store them in this because I mean this is three pounds then this would be a great option because they do actually fit I'm going to try my Makeup Geek Coastal Scents and Freedom eyeshadows as well and see if they fit as well so here we have a Freedom eyeshadow this one is called Sugar Rush let's see if it fits in yeah this one fits in perfectly it even fits in better than the MAC okay so next we have a Makeup Geek single eyeshadow this is called Flame Thrower it is one of their foiled now just from feeling it it does feel a little bit bigger than how the rest have felt yeah this one doesn't fit in However, I must say there is a pull between the eyeshadow pan and the bottom of the Primark. So that's leading me to believe that this is magnetic at the bottom here because there is a pull, but it just doesn't fit 
as you can see it's too big so makeup geek doesn't fit in these and then last but not least we have the one dollar eyeshadows from coastal scents this is the shade vibrant red let's try put it in yeah these ones are too big as well they're like the same size as makeup geek eyeshadows which is really good but yeah coastal scents doesn't fit so the only ones that fit in here are mac freedom and the primark okay so moving on to trying it i'm gonna take the first shade here which is the peach and it is called vermilion picks up really pigmented on the brush let's do this This is gorgeous. This reminds me of like the peach from the Femme Rosa Colourpop collection. It actually shows up as a gorgeous peach pinky colour. Really kind of pigmented once you build it up. Very decent for 60p. I mean, I wasn't really expecting it to show up at all. <laughs> all right, Primark. Okay, I see you. Just by this shade alone, I already want to go back and get more shades because they do have quite a few other shades. Not tons and tons of shades, but they do have quite a few options. I'm glad they didn't just go for like the normal browns and golds. They threw some really cool colours like this purpley maroon colour. They put a black, which you guys know <laughs> I love. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the orange, which is called Firecracker. And I actually really appreciate that they take the time to name the eyeshadows. I really, really like that touch. Primark are stepping their game up, that is for sure. So I'm taking this orange shade straight into the crease as well. You can definitely see that. I'm gonna have to darken this look up because it's kind of turning into a summery pinky look. So next I'm gonna go in with the brown shade and this is called Brick and I'm just gonna put it on the outer V. Not the best decision. I mean, I did not need all three shades, but... <laughs> Okay, so this palette is definitely magnetic because I just tried to pull this out so I could read the name and it literally got stuck right there. So definitely magnetic palette for three pounds, that's a bargain. So next I'm going in with the shade Espresso, which is this deep, deep, dark brown color. And I'm gonna put this onto the outer V, nice and dark. This is the type of browns that I like when they give that black effect without being black itself, you know? Really, really like that. So I'm just gonna push this on the outer V and along the lower, I mean the lash line. Slightly blend it into the crease, just a little bit. They blend like a dream as well. They're actually really easy to work with. Okay, then last but not least, even though I know it already looks black, I'm gonna take a dab of the black, literally one dab, and just put that. <gasps> Look how pigmented that is. Okay, the black is a must. This whole palette is a must, I mean for eight pounds. I'm loving it. Okay, so for the shimmer on my lid, I'm gonna take this gold bronzy tone right here and it's called Sun Kissed. I'm not gonna wet it, I'm just gonna see what happens first. It was kind of like an anti-climax. Let's try again. No, it needs water. Let's try this. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of that Sun Kissed shade, wet it using the Primark Priming Water. Let's see if this will improve the quality much better, much more reflective and pigmented. So I would say use the shades wet. Ooh, look at that. That's stunning. But there is loads of fallout with that shimmer shade. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but my whole nose is covered. Mm, not loving that shimmer color. It's not it's not bad, but it's just not doing what I thought it would do. I'm gonna try and mix a little bit of the other shimmer, which is called Gold Digger. I just wanna see if they are the same formula. So I'm gonna try this one dry. I feel like this one has a little bit more pigmentation. Let me try wet it. So now I'm wetting Gold Digger. Yeah, look how pigmented that gold is. Yeah, I definitely like the gold a lot better. Okay, so I'm trying the Sun Kiss shade with my finger on this side. And yeah, it's still not any better. I really feel like this Sun Kiss shade is kind of like a, uh, a dud, you know? But I mean, I'm not mad, it's 60 bloody P. <laughs> it's less than a bloody Ribena drink, you know, or a Coke. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow look complete. The shimmers have tons of fallout. I'm probably gonna have to redo my foundation underneath my eyes. But um, yeah, I'm gonna complete the rest of my face and I'll come back to give you guys my final thoughts on the customized eyeshadow palette from Primark. Okay, girlies, and I'm back. So this is how the look has turned out. I am actually 
actually obsessed with it and on my lips I went in with a new lip thing that I got from Primark it's called the Insta Girl Intense Liquid Lipstick now when I picked it up I did think it was matte but then I'm sitting here like it's not drying down what's happening and I checked it says full color satin finish vitamin E so it is a satin finish and if anything it looks it looks a little bit glossy to me I don't know maybe it will dry down a little bit more but to me a satin is kind of like a demi matte yeah it looks a nice color anyway it's a gorgeous kind of nude for my skin tone it's called incognito so this is what it looks like definitely recommend I think it was like two pounds I love the Primark lip stuff you will find out in Friday's video but yeah this is the look we have got with our 60p eyeshadows I mean to be honest guys I really can't complain the mattes work beautifully they blend really well they look gorgeous on the eyes for 60p I cannot complain I would say the shimmers make sure you use them wet because you get the best out of it I was dipping into this color up here to do my lower lash line and it started to break so uh, don't like stab the palette I suppose you have to kind of brush it and be gentle a little bit of fallout nothing too crazy the shimmers have a lot of fallout so probably do your eyes before your face um, but in terms of quality for 60p they remind me of every other eyeshadow from every other brand they're really really nice actually so yeah I definitely recommend the 60p customized single eyeshadows from Primark Primark are really stepping up their makeup game lately I remember when Primark videos like testing Primark videos used to be a joke back in the days and everyone ended up looking like a scary clown and it was just hilarious but now like I'm taking Primark makeup a lot more seriously because they're bringing out some really really good stuff so that is it for this video girlies I hope you have enjoyed it if you did then go on over to Kami's channel and check out his video using the same palette but he did pick up different shades so go check out his review the link will be in the description box please go ahead give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to my youtube channel leave me a comment and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye